So it looks like Solange is once again ready to square up with Jay-Z because she just came out to expose him for allegedly controlling Beyonce with drugs. Solange has never really liked Jay-Z, and she has never shied away from making her stand clear. And now, she is coming up with some hard evidence about how Jay-Z has been manipulating Beyonce. Also, it looks like Kevin Hart's marriage might be taking a downward spiral because, word on the streets, is that his wife, Eniku, is taking some legal steps and considering ending their marriage after Kevin was exposed for cheating on her again. Y'all need to get on this drama real quick because things are about to get messy. There have been rumors for years about how Solange is probably not Jay-Z's biggest fan and a girl does she keep proving it every day. The streets have been saying for years that she isn't exactly the biggest Anne of Beyonce's relationship and marriage to Jay-Z because she just doesn't like him. And we've been wondering what exactly she has against her billionaire brother-in-law. Well, following the recent allegations that have been brought against Jay-Z and how he is allegedly controlling Beyonce with drugs to manipulate her, it's not really surprising that Solange considers him to be an op. Again, this kind of echoes what people have been saying about the marriage and how weird it is. Jay-Z and Beyonce are arguably the Hollywood power couple, but that doesn't mean their relationship was all sunshine and rainbows. It was far from perfect. Despite their combined fortune of nearly $2 billion, a luxurious home, and the admiration of their peers, the dynamics of their marriage presented a whole different story. For those not in the loop on Beyonce and Jay-Z's journey as a couple, they have consistently faced scrutiny for the unconventional aspects of their relationship. For example, they first met when Beyonce was just a teenager, while Jay-Z was in his 30s. Reflecting on those early days, Beyonce once shared in an interview, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush, no one expected me to run off and get married. The couple officially began dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, a substantial age gap that stirred concern among fans, with some speculating about the possibility of Beyonce being groomed by Jay-Z. Putting aside the age gap, folks have also raised eyebrows about the uneven power dynamics right from the get-go. When Beyonce and Jay-Z kicked off their romance, Beyonce was already quite popular, but Jay-Z was an industry heavyweight with significantly more clout and influence than she had at the time. This, coupled with their age difference, sparked doubts and started conversation about how imbalanced the relationship was from the start. However, over the years, the playing field has pretty much leveled out because Beyonce has become the biggest artist in Hollywood. She's literally the most decorated artist ever and holds the Grammy record as the most awarded person in the history of the awards. But even with this, fans still feel a type of way about the marriage, so Jay-Z has faced criticism, with some labeling him as a predator. Then there's also the fact that Jay-Z was Beyonce's first real relationship. She has opened up about how she didn't have the typical childhood or teenage years because she was super focused on her career. She said, My teenage years were about the grind. I grew up hearing this particular scripture from James 2.17, faith without work is dead. Vision and intention weren't enough. I had to put in the work. I committed to always being a student and always being open to growth. My energy went into Destiny's Child and the dream of us getting a record deal and becoming musicians. If something wasn't helping me reach my goal, I decided to invest no time in it. I didn't feel like I had time to kiki or hang out. I sacrificed a lot of things and ran from any possible distraction. Beyonce wasn't just 12 years younger than Jay-Z, but she was was also pretty inexperienced when it came to relationships, adding an extra layer of sketchiness. As time passed, speculation started about whether she felt confined in the marriage, especially now that she's older and had more experience. Some insiders claim it's not just a feeling. Beyonce is genuinely trapped. According to sources, Jay-Z holds complete control over every aspect of her life, leaving her with little room to live on her own terms. Multiple people have recently come forward to expose Jay-Z's control and manipulation of Beyonce, and one one of them is a man who claims to be her former bodyguard. He had a lot to say about Beyonce's relationship with Jay-Z, and he kicked things off by confirming suspicions that their marriage was purely business. Your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. This revelation doesn't exactly shock a lot of fans, because people have been saying for a while that Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship has been weird from the start. People have been saying for years that their marriage is not based on true love, and Fan pointed out how they've always struggled to convince people of their deep affection for each other. This led fans to speculate that their marriage was a strategic move to secure the throne as Hollywood's most powerful couple, and if we're being honest, they have succeeded in that because it's impossible to name one couple in Hollywood who is more powerful than
than they are. This is why it's a common belief that their union is primarily for PR, and that's the real reason they've stayed together, even despite Jay-Z's infidelity. But hold that thought, because according to The Bodyguard, there is a more sinister reason behind the marriage. He claimed that Beyonce isn't just sticking by Jay-Z because she wants to, but because he is controlling her, and she has no choice. See, hardly nobody knows. But I say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. Yeah, this is crazy. And when the bodyguard dropped the bombshell, he pointed fingers at Jay-Z, claiming that Jay-Z was the one who allegedly got Beyonce hooked on drugs to start with. This was easy for fans to believe because Jay-Z has been quite open with his past as a drug dealer. So the idea that he could use drugs to control Beyonce doesn't sound that outlandish because if he wanted to get her on drugs, he probably knew how to do so. Now, let's get one thing straight. I'm not saying Beyonce is strung out on drugs, so don't come for me. But but let's be real, we all know Hollywood's got a bit of a drug problem. Many of our fave celebs have dabbled at least once in the scene. Those wild stories about A-listers throwing epic parties. Chile, it's an open secret that drugs are like the party favors at these parties. And I know y'all remember what Cassie said in her lawsuit. And don't even get me started on the crazy stuff that goes down when artists hit the road for tours. It's a whole other level of wild. Again, I'm not saying that Bay is a druggie. I'm just pointing out that it's not exactly uncommon in Hollywood. And with how private she is and how strictly she controls what the media knows about her. It wouldn't be so impossible for her to hide a hypothetical drug problem. Over the years, there have been concerns about Beyonce looking drugged or high at events with people saying, I'm still having conflicted feelings about Beyonce look. She looks like if Tim Burton was to direct Peter Pan, like a drugged up Tinkerbell. Look at how drugged up Beyonce looks when she these basketball games with Jay. If you need drugs to have fun, you boring. And Beyonce looks drugged in her video with Jay-Z. So, once again, the bodyguard was basically confirming what folks had been suspecting about Beyonce. Now, here's where it takes a turn for the wild because he's not the only one who has been spilling the beans on Jay-Z because Jaguar Wright pretty much said the same thing. Jaguar Wright can be super controversial because she stays committed to spilling the wildest tea on celebs. Now, some skeptics out there think Jaguar is just cooking up stories for clout and attention. But the thing is, she's never been slapped with a lawsuit by any celeb for slander or defamation. You'd think if she was spinning tall tales, she'd be swimming in legal battles, right? But nope, she's not. So either she's got some heavy duty protection from powerful folks or she's telling the truth. And considering that most of the things she said have come true, people are starting to believe that her revelations are actually true. Girl, she has been trying to warn us about Diddy for ages, but people didn't believe her, and look how that turned out. In an interview, she exposed Will and Jada Smith, as well as Gabrielle Union and Diane Wade. But then she shifted her focus to Jay-Z and Beyonce, and she claimed that Jay-Z is a monster who is so obsessed with keeping Beyonce in his control that he keeps her drugged up. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> she then compared Beyonce's situation to that of Britney Spears, asking fans to start a free Beyonce campaign because she is a prisoner in her marriage and she is trapped. I'll tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh, God, no. She better than me. I passed. I made a good choice. If Beyonce is in prison, she's in one of the most expensive prisons ever. Yes, she is. And she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself, not at all, not in any way. People think she has an amazing life. She is told what to say, she is told what to eat, she is told what to drink, she is told what to wear. By she is not. She is not her husband's wife, she is his employee. It's a business arrangement. She was a dowry. That's just crazy. But what's even crazier is the fact that Jay-Z himself has admitted to treating Beyonce badly on purpose, and we're not even talking about the fact that he cheated on her. In his song, 444, he said, I said, don't embarrass me instead of be mine. 
That was my proposal for us to go steady. I seen the innocence leave your eyes, I still mourn its death, and I apologize to all the women whom I toyed with your emotions cause I was emotionless. And because I fall short of what I say I'm all about, your eyes leave with the soul that your body once housed. Also, people noticed something weird at the Grammys earlier this year when Jay-Z offered her a drink and she refused to take it. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to hold your Grammy in your hand and celebrate that. He looked furious with her after that, and it was clear that he was just trying to control his anger because they were in public. Fans are now speculating that he could have drugged the drink, and that's why she refused it, because she didn't want to be drugged out of her mind on her big night. Well, it looks like Solange is now going over and beyond to break her sister free from Jay-Z's shackles because, according to insiders, she is allegedly threatening to expose him if he doesn't ease off on her sister. And if there is one person who is not afraid to take a stand against Jay-Z, it's Solange because she is not afraid to rough him up. I know y'all remember what went down in that elevator and she tried to rough him up. Chile, she even went as far as trying to fight one of his side pieces in a party for talking to Jay-Z. One of his many alleged side pieces is a woman named Olivia McFowler, and she is one of the very few, if not the only woman to have publicly admitted to, having been pursued by Jay-Z when he was already dating or married Beyonce. While Olivia denied that she and Jay-Z hooked up, many people don't believe that because they think that she's just trying to avoid triggering the Bay Hive. For the most part, Jay hit me on some, I will reach you when I'm in town. He wanted you to be his girl Friday. <laughs> he wanted me to be his girl when he's in. Well, she claims that she refused to give Jay-Z her number because he sent his bodyguard to ask for it. But then, a couple of weeks later, they ran into each other again at Nobu in Miami. She was with a group of friends, and he was also with a group of people, including Solange. Olivia then claimed that they met up in a private part of the restaurant to chat and exchange numbers, but Solange caught them. Olivia said, Solange came walking up out of nowhere. I thought I was about to get my butt beat so I backed off quickly. She has been guarding her sister's property since day one. Bay doesn't even have to say anything. Solange is a beast. I can't believe I dodged a whopping from Solange that day. She was a big reason for why I left him alone. She gave me a look of death. Very scary. So yeah, she has had Bay's back, and according to sources, she has had enough of Jay-Z allegedly controlling and manipulating Beyonce. And she is threatening to expose him if he doesn't ease off. Fans left comments saying, I'm not a Beyonce fan, but I do believe she's on something and Jay-Z keeps her on something come to find out she only performs maybe once every five years, her fans really don't get to see her. She may make an appearance once a year, that's not a lot. So I believe that she may be on something, she's a celebrity that you don't see a lot. There were other comments like, to me that elevator incident will always be about her hatred for him. I feel like that was Solange's way of saying she was disgusted with him over something. It must be something that occurred regularly because Beyonce sat there like nothing was happening and I've always thought Beyonce is very stiff and robotic. Jay never looked like he was into her and I thought so too. It's a business marriage. Something clearly upset Solange to the core and Beyonce didn't flinch so she must have thought Jay deserved it. Yeah, it's wild and y'all can only imagine the insanity that goes on in Hollywood marriages. And speaking of marriages, the streets are saying that Kevin Hart's wife Eniku might be filing for divorce any moment from now after yet another cheating scandal that's about to hit him hard. See, Tasha Kay has been threatening to release some details of an affair that's going to pretty much ruin Kevin's marriage and throw him right into another major scandal. Tasha Kay has this rep for going after celebs and spinning wild tales about them. I mean, she is kind of known for setting up her camera lights and just making up stories about celebs. Back in September 2018, she started throwing shade at Cardi, claiming she had herpes, did drugs during her pregnancy with Kultur, and even predicted Kultur would be born with special needs, all sorts of nasty stuff. Tasha would just sit there, unprovoked, and spill all this tea about Cardi. But Cardi wasn't having it, and she sent Tasha a cease and desist letter. But Tasha didn't stop, and she continued to make things up about Cardi. Cardi finally got so frustrated that she slapped Tasha with a defamation lawsuit. In return, Tasha hit Cardi back with a $3 million lawsuit, trying to claim that Cardi paid gang members to intimidate her. She had no proof of that, and the court wasn't buying it, so her case got tossed. The trial was a bit of a circus, and Tasha herself admitted to making up stories about Cardi without a shred of proof. 
Surprise, surprise, she lost the case and was ordered to pay around $4 million in damages to Cardi. Fast forward almost two years, and guess what? Tasha still hasn't paid up. She even filed for bankruptcy, claiming she's flat broke and can't pay Cardi. It's like, why stir up all this drama, end up in court, lose, and then play the broker card? The whole drama was unnecessary, and now she's in heavy debt because she just had to run her mouth. You'd think with Tasha still owing Cardi some serious cash, she'd learn to zip it and not stir up more trouble, right? Especially not with folks who have deep pockets and could drag her into another legal mess. But nope, Tasha didn't get the memo. She's been spilling the beans on Kevin Hart, and surprise, surprise, it's landed her in yet another lawsuit. At this point, she might as well have a lawyer on speed dial because she just can't seem to avoid catching lawsuits left and right. The drama kicked off when Tasha dropped an interview featuring Kevin Hart's former assistant Misha Shakes, who was all too eager to spill the tea on Kevin. Tasha, of course, claims Misha reached out to her saying she had a story to tell about Kevin and oh boy, did she spill the beans. First on the menu was the claim that Kevin had been cheating on his wife, Aniku, with multiple women. The first scandal was with the first baby. Correct. The one in Vegas. Yes. So these other scandals. It's another one in the office. She pregnant again. Correct, with her second baby. And he's still leaving semen stains all over the counter at the yes. heartbeat studio. Correct. And showering and then going home. Miesha also claimed that she tried to warn Eniku about Kevin cheating on her with the flight attendant on his private jet, but Eniku dismissed her concerns. I told Eniku, like, Kevin is cheating on you with a girl named Mick Snorgan. She's his flight attendant, she's on his planes. Unless you've been living under a rock, the whole thing about Kevin Hart being a cheat probably doesn't hit you with too much shock. I mean, the guy's faced accusations of infidelity in almost every relationship he's been in. He cheated on his first wife with Eniku so it's not exactly breaking news that he might pull the same stunt with any coup. You know what they say? How you get them is how you lose them. And let's not forget that Kevin got caught in a massive cheating scandal while Iniku was seven months pregnant with their first kid. Someone slid into Iniku's DMs to spill the beans and she was crushed by the betrayal. Talk about a roller coaster of drama, right? So when Tasha spilled the tea about Kevin cheating, it wasn't exactly uncharted territory because we've been there, done that, blah, blah, blah. She spoke about how crushed she was when she found out about the affair, saying, how I found out was a DM. I don't know who it was, Eniku said. They sent me an edited video of Kevin and, you know, another woman. Was pregnant at that time. I was about seven or eight months pregnant. I was having breakfast. I opened my phone and immediately I just lost it. I called him. I'm crying. I'm like pissed. Right then and there, I kept saying, how the f did you let that happen? You publicly humiliated me. Your whole everything's on Instagram, everything's on social media. It was an ongoing fight all the time, every single day, she said. I kept questioning him, like, if this is what you're gonna do, I don't wanna be a part of that. Kevin also spoke about how hard it was to tell her, saying, that conversation, there is no easy way to have that conversation, Hart said. The worst part was just knowing how you made somebody feel. There's a major effect it could have on the people that you are closest to, who you love the most. When I got to see that first hand with Eniku when I got to see the effect my reckless behavior had. It was crushing. That tore me up. That really tore me up. He also spoke about how hard they had to work to save their marriage and fix things between them. He said, she came to an amazing conclusion of, I like the fact that we have a family, that we have a household, and I like the fact that we now got a job to do to get better. That's what you owe me. You owe me the get better. And she held me accountable. It wasn't a walk in the park, but it was her understanding that we don't let the outside world affect our inside. And I credit her for setting that tone. Cheating on your pregnant wife is just a nasty, nasty move. And it's not surprising that people believe Tasha K this time and have been dragging him for filth. Now, whether that's fact or fiction is a whole other story. But Kevin wasn't having it and he slapped Tasha with a lawsuit. And it looks like he really means business. And get this, y'all know how Cardi B sent Tasha a cease and desist letter, but Tasha didn't listen. Well, this was also the case with Kevin because he sent her a cease and desist letter. According to his lawyers, Tasha tried to blackmail him with info she got from his assistant. Tasha allegedly approached Kevin a few weeks prior, dangling the prospect of some juicy, embarrassing details. But it came with a price tag, $250,000 to bury the interview and spare Kevin from humiliation. Reports had it that Hart claims that an unidentified affiliate of Kibi reached out 
out to him in November stating that an interview damaging to his reputation would be published unless he paid a $250,000 ransom. The actor refused to pay, contacted law enforcement, and sent a cease and desist to KB, according to the complaint. In the letter, Hart's lawyers warned her that any damages she's forced to pay as a result of her alleged misconduct won't be dischargeable in bankruptcy. In the Shisi and the Cease letter, Kiwi's lawyers clearly outlined what the consequences would be if Tasha continued, saying, You have already engaged in criminal conduct and tortuous acts that would entitle Mr. Hart to monetary damages against you should he elect to commence civil litigation regarding this matter. To the extent that you do not cease and desist now, your liability for such monetary damages will increase, as will your exposure to criminal penalties. But the cease and desist wasn't enough to make Tasha back off. She threw out a teaser video, which Kevin and his crew interpreted as a threat and an attempt at extortion. That was the last straw prompting them to hit Tasha with a lawsuit. According to reports, the lawsuit accuses Tasha K of spearheading a scheme to extort Hart out of $250,000 by threatening to run an interview with his former personal assistant, Misha Shakes. According to the complaint, Shakes made false statements during the conversation that included Hart facing criminal charges over recording an intimate encounter. The lawsuit went on to claim that this was not new behavior from Tasha, citing her case with Cardi B, saying, The complaint says Tasha has an established history of posting defamatory and otherwise improper content regarding celebrities and mentions the judgment against her for defaming rapper Cardi B. But the legal roller coaster didn't end there. Kevin's former assistant, the one who spilled the tea to Tasha, also found herself in hot water. Having signed an NDA during her time with Kevin, her decision to spill the beans was seen as a breach of contract. Now, she's part of the lawsuit facing charges of defamation, extortion, invasion of privacy, and breach of contract. Tasha, on the other hand, is being sued for extortion, invasion of privacy, and intentional interference with contractual relations. But Tasha isn't the only one dealing with a fallout from this situation because Kevin is dealing with some drama at home as well. See, sources are claiming that Eniku believes the allegations against him and she is broken about it because she is considering leaving the marriage. She is starting to see that Kevin will never change and she is sick and tired of getting humiliated. However, people don't feel bad for her and they left comments saying, Kevin Hart really a dirty little bastard. But I can't feel bad for Eniku. You lose him how you get him. That's her karma for messing with a married man. Eniku Hart took him back two to three times already and Kevin Hart won't stop cheating. Anyone who went to Diddy parties gets bored easily and he cheated on wife number one with her. So I don't feel bad for her. Next. And Tasha K took another lawsuit just to tell everyone Kevin Hart cheating on his wife. His wife who he cheated with on his ex-wife. His ex-wife who he cheated on with multiple women. A man who did a comedy skit on cheating on his wife. Chile, this is messy. But do y'all believe that Iniku is going to leave Kevin or is she just bluffing? Drop your thoughts in the comments then check out this next video.